Fred. I hope you won't get mad at me, but... Do you mind if I order takeout food for dinner tonight? Oh, great. But why takeout? Well, my stomach is really tight today. It was so tight that I called the hospital and asked them about it. They told me to rest and not move. And if it doesn't go away, I need to let them know. That's why I ended up with takeout meals. I'm sorry. Oh no, not again. What? I shouldn't have told you that I want to have kids if you end up like this. What do you mean? Because you always use pregnancy as a reason. That you have to balance your diet, avoid crowds, and so on for the sake of the child. You don't want to go out because you don't want anything bad to happen. You're always slacking off on your housework too, aren't you? That's a common thing for pregnant women. Isn't it the same in every family? It's not that I don't want to do my chores. That's why. What? That's why I regret wanting to have a baby. Because I don't have any freedom at all. I'm sick and tired of having to live like this until the baby is born. I'm fed up already. I feel like I should go somewhere by myself and have fun wherever I want. That's terrible. Did you really think that way? I thought you're happy for our child. I wanted to think so, but... But you know what? I think you'll have a change in heart when you see the child's face. It's our child. Do you think so? Yes, I do. People say most men don't really feel the excitement until the baby is born. I hope so. Well, let's have takeout meals for dinner tonight. Let me at least pick something on the menu that I like. I understand. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hey, I'm really sorry about this. I'm not feeling so well today. My stomach is killing me. I don't think I can make dinner. So, can we have takeout meals again? You can choose whatever you want to eat. Okay, take out as usual. I wonder how long you'll be slacking off and doing your housework. You don't have to talk like that. I don't like the way you said it. You stopped doing anything because you got pregnant, didn't you? That's... The laundry's been piled up for days, not to forget the dishes too. I've seen you do it so many times, so I've done it myself. Thanks for that. I do it in batches when I'm not feeling well, so... See? You're so quick to blame it on pregnancy. I knew we shouldn't have kids. Don't say that. I'm already in the last month of pregnancy. The child in my belly can hear you too, you know? It's just the father's true feelings. That's terrible. I don't want dinner. Why not? I'm going out to eat with my co-workers who are free. I'm thinking of doing that from now on. It's more fun for me. Jeez. I'm about to give birth to the baby and I'm feeling anxious. Because I don't have a choice. Even if I come home, you won't do anything for me. Of course I'd love to go home, but I'm tired too. I can't stand it if I have to help out with the housework all the time. I'm sorry. I really am, but I'm not feeling well. 
It's almost time until I give birth, so can you just bear with me until then? I told you, I'm at my wit's end now and I'm just holding on. Fine, just leave me alone, I'll do as I please. You can't just leave me alone. Don't do that to me, please. Even if I go home, you're going to leave me alone anyway. So it's more fun to have a drink with my co-workers. Oh, Fred. Rosie, I'm going out for a drink again today. Wait a minute. It's not good for your body or your wallet if you drink that much every day. Come home. I don't want to hear your excuses anymore. You blame everything on your pregnancy. I'm going to have the baby soon. I'm so anxious every day. That's why I need you to stay home after work. I don't know when the contractions will start. If you ask me about my true opinion, I don't want to be a nervous wreck until after work. Huh? You keep saying your stomach is killing you. Also, that you're sick that you want to throw up. Not to mention that your feet are swollen. You're all talking about negative things at home. That's just going to make me feel horrible, too. I'm sorry. But it's really hard to cope with the symptoms in the last month of pregnancy. I want you to understand that. I got it. I'm going to go get a drink outside. Why would you do that? If it's hard for you, you might as well just lie back and relax on your own. You don't have to take care of me. You can rummage around without a care in the world. You're a pregnant woman in pain, and I'm giving you a piece of heaven. Be thankful to me. It's not like that, Fred. My co-worker suddenly invited me out for a drink again today. Not again. I want you to come home soon. It seems my co-workers are looking out for me. What? There will be no dinner when I arrive home anyway. My co-worker said that if my wife won't cook me dinner, they want me to join them eating out. So we're going out for drinks. That's terrible. The people of the company don't know anything about pregnant women. Don't say that. They're thinking about my welfare. They care about me more than you do. I care about you too. It's our precious child, and you want the child to be born healthy. That's why no matter how hard I'm going through, I can do my best. I'm having a hard time too. I see. Well, you can say whatever you want. So, can I invite my co-workers to our house now? What do you mean? You want me to go home, right? Then, you need to entertain my co-workers at our place. Huh? You're gonna have to cook, prepare the drinks, and entertain them. I can't do it now. I haven't even gone shopping for groceries. I can't cook enough to entertain them. See? That's why I said I'm going out for a drink. Why do you want me to come home? Don't be silly. Please, listen to me, Fred. Hey, I want to ask you something. Now? Yeah, I thought the sooner the better. What is it? This picture. It's you, right? The woman who's with you is my elder sister, isn't she? Why are you and my sister together? Can you explain to me? 
When was this picture taken? I didn't take it. A friend of mine in the neighborhood took it, and she said that the person in the picture looked a lot like you. So she sent it to me. She said that you were smiling and kissing a lot, like you were lovers. Is it true? Who's your friend? You've got terrible taste in making friends. Eavesdropping and taking pictures without permission? Just tell me the truth, okay? Well, as you can see... Huh? I don't find you attractive as a woman anymore. Why did you say that? I was having a drink and bumped into Sally. She listened to my story and that's how we ended up. Sally is totally different from you. What? She's beautiful, stylish, has good taste, always sparkling. You're right. She's beautiful and has always been popular, but... And she cares about me more than anyone else. So I'm inclined to have feelings for her. I can't believe you just said that. She loves me with all her heart. But I love you with all my heart too. That's why I'm going to give birth to your baby. I married the wrong woman. What do you mean? Well, I think you know what I mean. I'm thinking of divorcing you. And I'm going to marry your elder sister. What? Divorce? You're marrying my sister. We're going to have our baby soon, okay? You're going to be a father. I told you, didn't I? I told you we shouldn't have kids. I don't care about the baby anymore. Huh? I don't like kids. But you insisted, so I tried to bear with you. Honestly speaking, I've had enough. What are you talking about? I couldn't tell you the truth since you're pregnant, and I didn't want to be rude. That's why I've been holding back for so long, but I've reached my limit. On the other hand, with Sally, there's nothing to hold back. She's an oasis in my heart. This is too much to bear. I can't believe you've been sneaking around with her behind my back. You too, you know, with a pregnant woman thing. You've been disrespecting me for 10 months. Isn't this a win-win situation? What do you mean by that? I'm not playing any games. You are such a lousy scumbag husband. I didn't know you were that kind of person. I was just too nice that I couldn't say no to you. You just got ahead of yourself. Oh, no. I didn't expect the woman I'll get remarried to is your sister, though. I fell in love with her, so there's nothing I can do about it. Let's be happy for each other from now on. Well, with this, we won't be able to have a happy family even if we have a baby. I understand. I left the divorce papers on my bookshelf. You can submit them to the authorities whenever you like. You've prepared that much? Yeah. I've already moved the bare minimum of stuff out of the house, so I won't stay there anymore. Is that why you took something like a travel bag with you every day? That's right. So you're not coming back to this house anymore? Yes, indeed. Why? Why are you doing this terrible thing to me? Because I married the wrong woman, that's all. I'm waiting for your sister right now. That person is not my sister. I'll go on living together with her. Do your best in giving birth to a healthy baby. Is that it? You're such a horrible person. Long time no see. How are you? I have something I really need to talk to you about. Can we talk for a minute?
You're reading my text, right? Say something, will you? What do you want? How dare you contact me? I will never forgive you and my sister. About that, I sincerely want to apologize to you. I treated you badly while you were pregnant. Having an affair with your own sister and divorcing you is out of the question. Also, I'm really sorry that I abandoned our child. I'm sorry. After all this time, hearing those words doesn't resonate with me one bit. If you have nothing else, I'll end this conversation. Wait a minute. Please, accept my apology. I'm sincerely sorry. Your uncle told you, didn't he? He said he'd have you quit the company. But before that, he told you to apologize to me first. Huh? How did you know? Actually, I've been in contact with your uncle, the CEO of your company, for a long time. What? We went to the same general hospital I went to when I was pregnant. Then, we bumped into each other. We started talking as well as giving each other updates. I was going to tell you, but you were never home in time, so I couldn't. I didn't know about that. I didn't realize you were so close to him. I haven't seen him for a while after the baby was born. I ran into him the other day when I went for my baby's regular checkup. So I told him all about our divorce. No way. He knew we were divorced, but I guess he didn't know why. So I told him you had an affair with my sister and left me. Your uncle was furious. He didn't dare to ask me about the reason because he thought it's a private matter. But once he found out the truth, he was so upset and said that you're such a scumbag. He said that? The other day, he told me something like I should leave the company. You will lose everything. Huh? Your uncle was going to bring you up as a future board member because you're his family. But he said that he's completely disappointed after hearing about what you've done to me. He said you're no longer wanted in his company. That's not good. Could you tell my uncle that he misunderstood me? Misunderstood what? You're close to each other, right? Tell him that I'm a good worker and that he should take good care of me from now on. I'll be his right-hand man and I'm sure about that. He'll regret it if he let me leave the company. Huh? Don't make me laugh. You're kidding, right? I can't talk about such a nonsense to your uncle. You really are a scumbag. Why should I do that for you, who abandoned me and my child in the last month of pregnancy? I'm not stupid. Don't say that. I really regret for what happened to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'll apologize as much as you want. I don't care if you're sorry now. I don't want to leave the company, please. I'm really sorry for everything I've done. You say that so often. I cut off ties with my sister because of you. I'm a single mother, and my child doesn't even know the father's face. Do you think an apology is enough to make me forgive you? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, no. If I'm forced to quit my job, I can't support Sally. You're right. My sister is always a showy, spendthrift person. She would spend money for herself without a second thought. That part of her still hasn't changed. I see. Sally likes luxury brand goods. 
She's been using the credit card for endless shopping. She has a mountain of bills to pay. I can't imagine losing my job at a time like this. But she's the woman you chose, isn't she? Huh? You change your mind because my sister is beautiful and stunning. Unlike me, she's more attractive, right? That's... You told me that clearly. That you were attracted to my sister because she is beautiful, stylish, has good taste, and is always sparkling. That's for sure. But I didn't expect her to spend money so wildly. No matter how much money I make, she spends it like it's going out of fashion. So I can't afford to lose my job now. Well, why don't you tell your uncle about that? What? That your wife has a habit of spending money, and you're having a hard time paying the bills. You can't afford to lose your job, so you don't want him to fire you. Maybe he'll give you some consideration. Are you kidding me? There's no way I can say that. He's already giving me the cold shoulder. That's what you deserve, right? You abandoned me in my last month of pregnancy. You didn't even know the face of the baby I was carrying. You were just enjoying yourself with my sister. You should take responsibility for what you did. It's not right to ask me for help. You're getting along well with my uncle, aren't you? I don't think he'll listen to anything I have to say right now. That's why I want you to convince him. I won't do that. Because I have no intention of helping you. And more to the point, I don't want to help my sister either. Don't be so cold and help us, please. You're so persistent. Where do you think I am right now? Huh? Not at home? No, I'm not. I'm at the hospital for my child's vaccination. And I bumped into your uncle again today. He's with me right now. What? He's been watching this whole conversation from my side. No kidding. Fred? What a despicable guy you are. My heart is reeling to think that someone like you is in my company. As of today, I'm firing you. Please, uh, let me explain, sir. My private life has nothing to do with my work. I'm going to keep working hard, so please don't fire me. I don't want to hear your lame excuse anymore. You left Rosie and her cute child. You cheated with her sister and remarried. I will never forgive you. You're not to be involved in my company anymore. That's all. Sir, please wait. I don't bring my private life into work, so... That's what your uncle wanted to tell you. I'm sorry that it's what you got even though you've gone through all the trouble to get in touch with me after six months. I'll block your number after this. Don't ever appear in front of me and my child again. Rosie, please help me. We were a married couple. It's in the past. I want nothing to do with you. Well, goodbye. After that, my ex-husband was fired from his job because of his uncle's anger. His uncle is an old-fashioned stubborn man, but he has a very strong sense of justice. Because of his character, he could not forgive what my ex-husband did. My ex-husband, who was fired from his job, is desperately looking for a job. He was turned down by all of his competitors because of his uncle's influence. Now, he is still looking for a job and working part-time at night to make ends meet. I don't know how much longer he can live like that. My sister has been isolated from her parents and relatives 
due to my divorce. She receives no support from my relatives. Even so, my sister is living as she pleases. I am speechless with her attitude. I wonder if she will ever change. Anyway, I am glad that I got rid of those people. I am doing my best to raise my children with the help of my parents. I'm planning to start working in a few months. To my surprise, my ex-husband's uncle has offered me a job as an office clerk. He will continue to be a good advisor to me as the CEO of my office.